Hello, good morning, and day eight has come upon us for another movie challenge. A lot of red ones. Okay. Another gun bear, another mission, another challenge. Man, the last two I didn't even eat it. I don't know. I don't like bears. So. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, no, no. Please don't. No, no. Lizzie and the. And the. Oh god, oh god. I guess it's a German movie again. Lizzie and the Wilde Kaiser. So. Oh fuck, no, no, no! This fucking animation bullshit parody of. One of the most famous movies from Austria. Uh, oh God, give me strength! Another German movie. Yes, it's another German movie. Uh, <laughs> Done with Lissy and the White Emperor, and uh, yeah, uh, I didn't, I didn't believed that we can hit rock bottom again. That something can be worse than Siegfried. But yeah, the moment is here, ladies and gentlemen. Germany has done it again. They torture us again. First of all. They had the Second World War, then we got Hitler, and now we have Lizzie and the White Emperor. Oh boy! How bad is this movie? This movie most of mostly is a parody of the three sissy movies. The three sissy movies were three movies that are made in Austria and they represent the life of Elizabeth of Austria, the Queen of Austria. And they were they're very good movies, very, very successful one. Elizabeth is played by Romy Schneider. And yeah, this is this is a, a, in Germany a kind of Christmas tradition that always on Christmas or on Easter they show us Sissy. And the movies are good. But now the these people behind this production thought, okay, let's make it child friendly and make it goofy as fuck! And also the animation style. I hate this new animation style. You know that stiff and emotionless and non-cuteness, no fluffiness animation. This the stiff computer animation. Nothing handmade. Nothing very very beautiful drawn. No, just lazy shit. Yeah. Yeah, and then we have here again the German humor. The German humor that is a pain in the ass. It is like like Wolverine fisting you, and you know it will hurt even if you imagine that. Yeah. I can't stand German movies, mostly comedies from the 2000s and today because they haven't learned learned a lesson in the 80s and early 90s they did very very good German comedies or the comedies or the comedians at that time was great and they know what works and don't work because today's comedies comedians stand-up comedians of Germany think oh I can talk like an idiot and I I make people laugh, but no, you don't make people laugh. You don't make people cry, and your audience is, is, as we know, the the biggest idiots who walks among us. So yeah, another torment is upon me, and isn't it a better? better way to start the weekend 
and see a shitty movie again from the beginning. I thought, oh, this 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 will be a ride I will not forget. But yeah, that, that's life, guys. That's life. We have to suffer. We have to endure the pain before we see the gold, before we see good moments in our lives. So why do we have to suffer? Why we have to endure shitty movies before we see a good one? Eh? Most of the times from the 10 movies, I just eat a gummy bear now to ease the pain. From the 10 movies, most of the time 8 are shit. One is average and one is brilliant. So we have eight movies seen, two was good, one was average, and five were shitty, very shitty. <sighs> yeah, the Germans, please stop doing comedies and focusing on things you can do good, just like brewing beer. Or, or wearing leather hosen or whatever, but please leave the comedy to others. Fine, I'm in a good mood to end this video. People, thank you and see you tomorrow.